so Rain, what is that? Everyone's fired up. So we got Ashley followed by Kodak. Yeah. Cool. So if we put the two together, you have a city and a state. The city is Ashley. The state is Kodak. What's the zip code? Ashley Kodak, I USA. It's kind of funny. Commercials are weird. There. There's no need to Ashley. Uh, 90 seconds. And <laughs> Kodak. And I'll stay. I, I'm not following. Ashley Kodak, USA, baby. We're bit I'm going to get a ticket to fly there today. I'm headed to Ashley Land. There's no case in the <laughs> Shaky game one start as he faces Adam Wainwright in a rematch. First pitch is at 8.37 p.m. Charlie and Dave have the call right here on 106.7. The fan, the winner advances to the National League Championship Series to face the San Francisco Giants. Game one of the NLCS will be on Sunday at that time, still to be determined. We saw the winner go home to the O's and the Yankees tonight. The only other changes in O's manager Buck Showalter announced for the game is that Lee Ford will start at DH in place of Jim Tomei, while Robert Gambino gets the nod at second base over Ryan Flaherty. Jason Hamm will take the mound for the O's against CC Sabathia. First pitch at 5.07 p.m. at Yankee Stadium. College football tonight. Navy Midshipmen are on the road facing Central Michigan uh, uh, in Central Michigan and the Chippewas at 8 p.m. On Saturday, Duke visits Virginia Tech at 12.30. You can hear that game right here on the fan. Howard is at North Carolina a and at 1.30. Maryland is at Virginia at 3. Number 5, West Virginia visits Texas Tech. That game at 3.30. There are four players punished in an NFL's veteran case of a two-day suspension. A source close to the situation said that the players have asked that NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to remove himself as arbitrator. Uh, Jonathan Vilma suspended for the whole season while Saints defensive end Will Smith has been suspended for four games. Free agent defensive end Anthony Garhardo seven games. And Browns linebacker Scott Pizzino one game. Get Nashville's Mark Game Day Traffic and Metro Update for the 10 minutes from the horn. On all news 991 WNEW from the Cold Quarter Woodward Sports Desk. We'll return our sports radio 1067 The Fan. That is familiar with the area, someone who's from around these parts. Where did last night rank, do you think, in the DC Sports upper echelon? Uh, as far as the people who are my age, my age bracket, you know, in their mid young 20s, that is as monumental a single moment in DC major sports history as I think we've seen probably in the last 15 years. And it's up there, I'd say, with any capital B winning goal in a postseason game, let's say in overtime, there's been a couple of those, but I have to put work above any of those, just for this comparison. A, it was the first game home to the Nationals this postseason, where they had to trade home games in the postseason since 1930. 